Yes. Yes. Good morning to everybody. In the last week we have we have continued to discuss about the leaf. Among them, the insectivorous plants. So that among the insectivorous plants, there will be totally four four type of insect. One is Nepenthes. Already we have discussed. The second one is Nepenthes. That is a pitcher plant. The second one is the uh, the second one is the Utricularia. That is called bladder bird. The third one is Drosera, and the fourth one is Dionia. So now today we will discuss with the, the first one, the, the third one is Drosera. That is called Sandu. The other one is Dionia. Dionia, that is the fourth one. This is the third one. So the Dionia is called as Venus, Venus flight trap. Venus flight trap. So there are the two example. Still they are there with the insectivorous. Plants. So the first one is that Drosera. I draw the figure.
Yes. So these are the, this is the Dionia, Venus track. And this one is the Drosina, Sandu. Sandu, why it is called as the Sandu? Because this plant, it is a small herb, about two to three to or four inches in there one. The, this is the leaf. The leaf is about two to three centimeter in the diameter, actually. That this is the one insectless. And also here, the leaf lamina is green in color and also it is having the, it's surrounded with the glands, nectary glands. Those glands are nothing but the hair-like structures, they are grown. And these glands, they secrets a shining sticky substance, which will be shining due to the sunlight, sunlight. Early morning when it will be the a sticky substance which is oozing from these glands. And at the tip portion, and it will be appears like a sandu, early morning sandu. So for that reasons, these sandy, this sticky substance, which will be mistaken by the insects, and they appear like the sandu, and they immediately they will they reach to the they, they reach to the leaf lamina, and then the sticky sandu it completely it's a juicy one. It will stick to the Inside, to the insect's body, immediately it closes. And then later, so after the entire digestion of the insect, because these glands, they secrete various enzymes which dissolves the proteins of the insects. The insect. So after the digestion of these insects, the trapped insect, which will be, then immediately again, these glands, they will be, they bend inside the leaf, inside the lamina, 
and after the digestion again these glands they stay, they become straight and they start secreting so this is in case of the drosera it is about 2 2 to 3 cm in their diameter 2 to 3 cm very small one and it is completely surrounded by the glands all the glands the nectary glands these nectary glands they are colorless and they will be shining due to the sunlight and they will be mistaken as the sundew by the insects for that reason it is called as sundew plant drosera the next one is venous tract so in case of the venous tract the peyonia here also the leaf lamina is in fact is the peak you the leaf lamina will be expand and this leaf lamina is having various glands hairy glands are present on the leaf lamina along with them and then this will be the midrib of course it is not labeled in the books now i will label it here in the leather center and these are these hairy structures which will secrete various enzymes which dissolve the protein of the insects and then this margin which will be having a dense teeth like margin are there the margin is modified into teeth like structure sharp teeth there is a pointed structures are formed and immediately when the leaf sorry see when the insects will be coming near each other because this juicy substance which will be sticky one immediately these leaf it will folds along with the midrib it folds along with the midrib and then immediately these and then as the leaf leaf lamina will be folding and these dense these with dentate margin we call them as that is the dentate margin these they will be interlocked these sharp structures they are dented these teeth like structures which will be interlocked and then until the the insect which is trapped will be digested by these enzymes which are secreted in the on the lamina hairs hair like glands those and then afterwards once it is the insect is digested again this leaf lamina the leaf lamina opens opens for the new trap for the new prey so this is about the insect trust so this is the the now the insect trust plant is completely over so first one is nepenthes that is the pitcher plant the second one is utricularia bladder bud third one is drosera and the fourth one is dion so now now we will discuss the philodexy very important philodexy or philodexy so the what is meant by philodexy the philodexy is nothing but it is the arrangement of the leaves the arrangement of the leaves at the nodal region on the stem so that is the arrangement of of leaves at the nodal region at the nodal region on the stem so this is we call them as it is the definition of philodexy or philodexy so the arrangement of leaves at the nodal region usually the stem is having nodes and the internodes so at the there is the at the nodal region so here at the nodal region the leaves are arranged so the leaves are arranged in this way so that is we call them as philo the arrangement of leaves at the nodal region on the stem is called philodexy so here there are three types of philodexy we have that is the the types the first one is alternate or this is also called as spiral 
the second one is opposite in case of the opposite so alternate the example is polyethylene hibiscus or polyethylene that is ashoka cream opposite in case of opposite we will have two the opposite superposed and opposite decussent example superpose example gawa a b then in case of the succession there is a calotropis so these are the two examples opposite superpose is the gawa and the next one is opposite decussent is calotropis that oral example or vertical cluster that is example is lavium so these are the examples in case of the arrangement of the leaves the first one is alternate spiral means the leaves are arranged in the alternate manner that i will explain i am in opposite there are two types one is superposed opposite superposed that is a gawa and fuscalis indica that is a rangoon creeper there is another another example is fuscalis fuscalis indica there is a rangoon creeper plant it is a climber it is a climber rangoon creeper the next one the opposite opposite because it there is a calotropis or ixora ixora that is a ixora is a very garden plant but i see this one ixora or calotropis is very common ekigram par ekigram par the next one is nerium nerium in case a nerium or in case of alistonia the example nerium and kanagil so these are the examples now i will, I will explain so these are the, the difference is in case of the alternate means here i will draw all the figures here in case of the alternate only one leaf is attached one leaf is developed on the each node here in case of the opposite two leaves are developed on each node here on the oral the more than two leaves are developed or arranged on each node so this is about the same now we will draw all the figures i will explain the first one is that is alternate the first one is alternate that is hibiscus 
Any other, the common is hibiscus. The next one is opposite. Opposite. Superposed. That is gamma. Then opposite. Opposite. Decussect. Opposite decussect, that is calotropis. Then the fourth one is oral, that is medium. In case of the polyanthia also, Ashoka tree, polyanthia, there is also same one after me. So I will draw figure, then you will come to know the details.
Yes. Here, there is the there is the three types of three types of arrangement of the leaves. The first one is alternate, the second one is opposite, and the third one is oral. So, in case of the alternate. That is the hibiscus or polyalta anyone. Here, the most important one is the stem is having nodes, and the distance between the two nodes is called internode. Is called here. This is the alternate. Alternate means this is the stem. On the stem, you will find the nodes. At the each node, only one leaf is developed. At the each node, only one leaf is developed. So the arrangement is only one leaf in the are in the alternate. So these leaves are this is the older leaf and these are the younger leaves. They are arranged in a alternate manner. In a alternate manner. So that is called our spiral. Spiral means just it will be in a spiral-like structure. It is spiral in you will find that is a spiral. So this is we call them as alternate. Only one leaf at each node on the stem. Alternate. The common example is hibiscus. In other plants, also you will find the Alternate arrangement of the leaves also in case of the Ashoka tree and other there are this. Now next one is in case of the opposite. They are very important. Usually the opposite leaf there are two types. One is the opposite superposed. The other one is opposite weaker set. That is the A. Opposite superposed means in case of the opposite two leaves are developed in each node on each node. So there are two leaves are arranged or developed in each node. Each one. So this is about 360 degree, only one leaf. Here there will be two leaves, that is 180 and 180. That is two leaves. So here, especially opposite superposed means two leaves are exactly opposite to each other at the nodal region. The making the angle of about approximately 180 degree in each. So that is in case of the alternate, it will be only full one ring. Only one leaf is there, in entire leaf. That is here. Opposite thicker set means it is in case of the calotropis. In case of the calotropis, the leaves are sessile. They don't have stalk. This is stalk of the leaf is called petiole. So the sessile leaves they are arranged in such a way that the older leaves will be the younger leaves will be making right angle to the older opposite thicker set. Means so these two leaves are developed at one each node. The second, the another younger leaves in the opposite direction. They are arranged in a opposite direction, making 90 degree angle to the earlier one, making 90 degree to the first whorl of the leaf. The older leaf. So the younger leaves are make the they are developed two in each node, developed two on each node, but the younger leaves makes the 90 degree angle to the previous or prior whorls of the leaves. Oral. Okay. So they are called as opposite because it. So now you may ask the question, sir, why this type of arrangement is formed? See, listen here, yeah, the nature means the leaves are arranged in such a way that no leaf, the entire, all the leaves should be exposed to the sunlight exactly opposite exactly to the sunlight so that they can prepare the for food photo for photosynthesis so no leaf will be shaded on the other one so the younger leaf doesn't shade on the older so there should not be any shade so these two will be so this is the arrangement of the leaves that arrangement will be different from with each and every species that is the it will vary from species so the leaves never Shade the other leaves. So this is opposite thicker set. Means two leaves are developed in on each node, but the older 
the younger leaves will make 90 degree to the young, to the earlier prior that is the previous fold of the leaf or older leaves so this is called as opposite recusant the third one is oral in case of the oral here totally three more than two leaves are arranged in each node more than two and they will be making the two means 120 120 it will be 120 degree means 360 divided by 3 that is 120 so each leaf they make approximately about 120 degree angle so more than two leaves are arranged in on each node that is called as the oral type of arrangement so here alternate opposite opposite you can see in gawa japranantami gawa so you can see in the you can observe them in the opposite gawa opposite decussent in case of the color crop is oral so this finishes the leaf now we will go for the the next chapter we call the mass inflorescence we will be studying the inflorescence yes so now we will be concluding that is there will be the now in the leaf we have four insect rose plants nepenthes that is nepenthes utricularia dracaera and dionia and in case of the philotexy we will have three types alternate opposite oral in alternate you will have spiral arrangement means each node contains only one leaf about 360 degree angle next in the alter opposite each node has two leaf leaves two leaves that is opposite to each other that is opposite superposed opposite decussent so in case of decussent means the first oral of the leaf will be alternating with the next oral making 90 degree that is the making 90 degree to the younger one or the younger will be making 90 degree to the older oral of the leaf so that is opposite decussent in case of the oral it will be more than two leaves are developed on each node so that we will call them as opposite oral so this finishes the leaf now coming to the the next chapter we call that is the inflorescence inflorescence what is meant by inflorescence very important chapter inflorescence means hoo gucci anta kannada dali hoo gucci anta ni odirabodu high school nalli kannada medium students inflorescence here there are different types of inflorescence we find yes the 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 definition of inflorescence is arrangement of the flowers on the axis that is a mode of arrangement of flowers on the in, on the axis on the peduncle that peduncle we call the axis we call the mass peduncle is called in parts the mode of arrangement mode of arrangement mode of arrangement of flowers mode of arrangement of flowers on the peduncle on the peduncle that is a special branch or axis called inflorescence so what is inflorescence means that is the definition of inflorescence in case of the definition of inflorescence that is the leaves, the flowers are arranged. This is here. Very important one. 
See, already I have explained you. Each and every plant has to undergo two phases of its life cycle. The first phase is vegetative. In the vegetative phase means in the vegetative structures are developed. The vegetative structures are they are the especially in case of the vegetative structures they are root, stem, branches, leaf. These are all vegetative structures. Now, once the vegetative growth is over, once the leaf, once the plant enters into vegetative growth, you will find all these structures and modifications. The mod different modifications you will find in the vegetative structure. Next, after the vegetative growth is over, then the plant has to enter into reproductive growth. So once it enters into reproductive growth, once it enters into reproductive growth, so in the reproductive growth, what you will find? You will find the inflorescence flower, means the flower, inflorescence, fruit, seed. So these are all about the reproductive growth. After the germination of the seed, again you will find the vegetative growth. So that is the life cycle. So now coming to inflorescence means the flowers are arranged on the axis. That is how the flowers are arranged on the axis. There are different types of arrangement of flowers will be there with the different species, different examples, different species. The arrangement will be different. Now, why they are arranged? Because to have the maximum pollination. It is due for the, the, the arrangement of the leaves, for arrangement of the Flowers will be inflorescence. Arrangement of the leaves will be philotexy. So this one is on a special branch that is reproductive branch. The special branch is nothing but it is a reproductive branch or axis or we can call them as peduncle. P D U N C L E. Peduncle is called inflorescence. So now, now coming to the this inflorescence here, there are different types of inflorescence we find. There are two types. Actually, when we say there are three types. The first one is racemos. It's the primitive. The second one is cymos. The third one is spatial. That is called as mixed also. So basically, the racemos type of inflorescence means mode of arrangement is different in case of racemos. And the next one is little advanced, that is the cymos. And it is the mixed one means special type is mixture of the two inflorescence. They are called as Special type mixture of the two inflorescence, either maybe cymos or racemos, or the two cymos or two like that, it will be mixed. So, that is called special type. So, in case of the racemos, what is meant by racemos? What is meant by racemos? Racemos means here the flowers are arranged on the axis. In case of the racemos, I mean, there are different types of they that we will discuss later. So it is the inflorescence axis. We call them as peduncle. We call them as peduncle. So this is peduncle. In case of the racemos, the flowers are arranged in a acropetalous manner. In a acropetalous manner means the acropetalous already I explained you in the root also. Acropetalous means the older flowers are towards the base of the peduncle and the younger flowers are towards the axis of the, towards the apex of the peduncle, towards the tip of the, this is the tip and this is the base. So the flowers are arranged in a acropetalous manner. They are arranged in a acropetalous manner. Acropetalous manner. So the older will be at the base of the axis or the peduncle, and the, at the tip, 
they will be younger slowly they will be growing and here the axis has unlimited growth that is unlimited growth unlimited growth means it is you it grows continuously the axis that the pedicle this is called as cymos racemos in form it's a very primitive the next coming to the cymos now in coming to the cymos this is also pedicle it is opposite to this one here the uh, the flower the inflorescence the axis ends with a flower this is the flower so in case of the cymose type of inflorescence here the flowers that is the inflorescence axis or the peduncle ends with a flower means it has a limited growth it has limited the first one the second one the branching takes place towards the base the branching will be takes taking place towards the base in this way so this is the this is the old flower and these are the young flower here it is the young flower and it is the old flower reverse is the end flower will be at the towards the tip of the axis but here the end flower should be towards the base of the axis so this arrangement we call the mass basic petals arrangement basic petals manner the flowers are arranged in a basic petals manner the flowers are arranged in a basi petalus manner so towards the base you will find the young flowers but towards the apex you find the young flowers so there is a difference between the cymos and racemos is here in case of the racemos the peduncle has unlimited growth the peduncle has limited growth and the peduncle and then the the flowers are arranged in a acropetalus manner the flowers are arranged in a basi petalus the younger flowers are at the towards the tip of the peduncle and the older flowers are at the base of the at the base of the peduncle but here opposite the older flowers will be at the tip of the peduncle and the younger flowers are towards the base of the peduncle towards the base of the peduncle so this is the difference between basi petalus and arrangement and acropetalus arrangement very important that will be again when we go to the detail we will go we will be studying the details and the type and in case of the special that is different again in case of the special means it is the mixed type of inflorescence mixed means more than one more than more than one inflorescence inflorescence will be there so it is called mixed among them there will be three will be there this is the syllabus no we will be discussing one by one so in case of the racemos type now now we will be knowing about the difference between racemos and cymos so in case of the racemos in case of the racemos we will find simple raceme so that panicle that is called compound raceme it is a raceme then spike then spadix then you will have catkin then you will have corin
then you will have next one will be umbel then capitulum the last one is globus globus head so in a simple question that is example gold bore panical mango spike acharatas example then spadix arum catkin akelepa akelepa or mulberry mulberry corin cassia umbel centella captal sunflower then globus acacia or bubble bubble so these are the different examples in the in this resin these are the different types the first one is simple resin gold mold gold mold andre there is a may tree you get the uh, red color flowers the next mango panicle mango compound resin which is there in your ncert book then spike acharanthus uttrani if you are want interested you can write in kannada for to understand the next one arum arum means it is the of course not available it will be there in the western ghats and also this arum you can see in the the compound spadix is coconut coconut is compound spadix that are like catkin akelepa or mulberry mulberry is there in the reshmi gida mulberry akelepa is a hedge plant that it is having coffee color leaves they will usually it will be there with the in the compound or hedge plant they will grow usually in the garden corum cassia cassia it will be very big tree Uh, yellow color flowers that I believe is there in your insert book also. The umbel centella that I have explained you centella hydrocotyl insert book centella brahmi. Then capital of sunflower already you are knowing sunflower or pagetis pagetis under chandu hua sunflower or even tridax tridax under birth there. Then we heard the name. You know get it taken hua under tridax that is also same capital of globus and bubble acacia. Acacia arabica or bubble. So these are the different types. In case of the cymos, again you will have different simple sign. That is the solitary sign. Then simple sign. Then. monocacial sign among them there will be two monocacial scarpoid monocacial helicoid then dicacial Dicacial sign, then polycacial sign. So solitary sign, hibiscus, scarpoid sign, heliotropia or terrestensia. That is a hemilia. Dicacial sign, pyrodendron. 
polycasial side calotropis. Hibiscus dasaruma, scarper, of course, it is a garden in these two, Hibelia is a garden pack. Then, Herodendron, it will suji maligantha, Herodendron. It is a climber, calotropis, it is a key, that you will be knowing. They are mixed early, again, the special type will, but there are three types, four types. One, they have a verticillaster, then, there is a three types. What is the last one is there? In case of this. What is the last one? What is the last one? Then Sayatium. Sayatium. Then Hypertrophium. What is Lester? That is Lucas Dumbi Huan. Sayatium before we are. Before we are then Hypentorium fit. So these are the different examples in case of the influences. Yes. And then tomorrow we will discuss. Again, I will write. Once again, I will write the details later. Later, this uh, special type we will again once again we will be discussing. But tomorrow we will start discussing about the different types of resimos type of inflows. Okay. Yes. Thank you.